Well, Gail, an interesting year for you, I guess we could say. Absolutely on fire at the start of the season, certainly. But your momentum seemed to drop a little bit after that, that run to the final in Monte Carlo. Why do you think that is? I get sick, you know, I get sick after Monte Carlo. I had a, a virus for quite a while and, uh, and actually that's why, you know, I couldn't play uh, 100% and actually I couldn't play at all. So that's why it was uh, tough for me. But, uh, you know, I'm falling back, finally feeling much better. So hopefully, you know, I, I'm going to play uh, again a good tennis. And talking of fine, I'll start there. Not a good place for an interview room, really. Is it? Okay, all yours. Okay. Uh, do you want to do that again, or is that? No, no, that's okay. Um, talking of finals, um, last time you were here in Washington, uh, you reached the final five years ago. I guess it must feel good when you sort of return to a tournament when you have sort of good memories like that. Yeah, I always have great memory here, you know, even before I lost to Johnny in a tough semi-final. You know, it's a great tournament here and, uh, you know, I love uh, this tournament, uh, especially for many other things. So, you know, to be back uh, in Washington, it's, uh, for me, was a, a good choice, I think, and uh, I'm really looking forward to playing. It can be pretty oppressively uh, hot and humid out here, certainly even waiting for a thunderstorm right now. I mean, how difficult are the conditions out here in Washington? Yeah, it's hot and uh, humid, but uh, you know, I'm from the uh, Caribbean, so I get used to it. So for me, it's, uh, it's fine. I mean, you do play a pretty all-action style of tennis as well. I mean, does it make it more difficult to play that sort of intense style of tennis that you do when it's this sort of humidity and heat? Well, it depends, but not really. You know, if you if you fit enough, it's, uh, it's fine, you know. Okay. Uh, Washington also likes the sort of marks the sort of long build up to the U.S. Open. I guess you could say how important a tournament is it in terms of you know getting used to the courts in this part of the world. Obviously, after the grass and the clay uh, over in Europe. Well, this year is a little bit different. You know, this this, this year I think for me it's uh, actually a good one to to build a, a strong confidence. And uh, you know, I think we have a big stop with the Olympics. So you know, for me it's uh, more like a, a go to to build back the confidence to be hundred uh, percent for the Olympics. And it's an interesting looking draw, not the draw we were expecting, but there's a lot of young guys that are really fighting for their first 500 victory. I mean, it's a very kind of open field in a way, with a lot of guys hungry for the, the first tournament level win at this, at this level. To be honest, I haven't uh, seen the draw, you know, but uh, for sure I think it's a lot of young players is uh, actually playing much better, you know, this year. And uh, I think, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's part of, uh, of uh, life, huh? it's like uh, young players and uh, they're pretty strong, so definitely they they, they, they are looking forward to, to win a, a big title as a 500. How do you see your chances of getting that, that first 500 victory here? Well, I, I wait after the first one, but uh, pretty much uh, strong.